So here's the village where the neo next to where the uh, the teacher boxer where he aggressed me a neo Nazi most likely, and where the neo Nazis just near to where the neo Nazis held a uh, in 2014, where they celebrated the birthday of Adolf Hitler, hundreds of them. So these guys are Swiss, and here's the um, here are the proofs. So you just punch pause here. You can read the whole thing. It's in French here. And here it says that the, uh, after the 30-year war, here it says the Swiss immigration, the Swissies, uh, after the 30-year war from 1618 to 1648, where the Swiss mercenaries, where they um, killed 95% uh, of the local population, uh, they replaced the, the French here. And so this is why the Alsatians, they are Swiss. And this is in every village like this. Is there's the uh, the hostilities here? They call it genocide. They just call it the hostilities. Yeah, never mind. And uh, the Swiss immigration, they made the the local po the actual population here. So that means the Alsatians, and this is why they have even special laws, like in Switzerland. They call it the concordance, le concordat. It's the only place in France where they have different laws because they are Swiss, ethnic Swiss, and here it says. And this is in every village like this. This is the reason why the French, they lost all their wars. It's all, you know, lost and infiltrated from the beginning on. This is why in Strasbourg, we have the European community and all that, you know, where the, the French president was in, who is a, um, a Swiss sleeper agent. Well, I'll just explain the content of the French video very briefly here about how I was aggressed by a most likely neo-Nazi sports teacher because I called him an Alsatian Nazi for being disrespectful to me. And the Alsatians in France are in fact ethnical Swiss who replaced the murdered French during a Swiss genocide on the French by uh, Swiss mercenaries under Templar command during the 30-year war from 1618 to 1648. Uh, when uh, Swissy entirely replaced the French in that region to create the Swiss buffer zone around Switzerland, where in 2014, 200 neo-Nazis celebrated Hitler's birthday. And where in the very same school where the boxer teachers 12-year-old pupils get executed Nazi-style with handguns. So you say, see here it says uh, Hegenheim, and in the same school in Switzerland, it's just here. You know, here's Basel and all this. It's all Swiss territory in France. And in the same school where uh, pupils get killed, they kill each other next to the neo-Nazi stuff there, um, I got uh, next to the school, I got aggressed by a, a school teacher. And um, weird things going on there. And the Swiss, you know, as it is just next to Switzerland, they try to extradite me. So now, because of this boxing teacher and the good Swiss understanding with the ethnic Swiss in France, Swissy tries to have me extradited back to Switzerland where they tried all during 20 years to make me leave Switzerland, which I did. So now they want me back all of a sudden. So they can prolong their Swiss terror, torture, and eventually my death. Now you can see, this is, this, is where the, this is Switzerland here. Here's the border. Here's Basel, St. Louis. And here's where the, um, the neo-Nazis, where they had this party. Here's this school where I got aggressed by the, um, the, the neo-Nazi teacher and where children get shot. It's all in the same school. Yeah, and of course, you know, I'm, I'm the one who's always guilty. You know, it's an endless Swiss organized Nazi terror. Endless. So these are Swiss here, ethnic Swiss. And of course, here's Switzerland. It's all the same. And they understand each other very, very well. It's the buffer zone around Switzerland. And here in France, they even speak Swissy language. 
I'm Regina Loy. I wanted to tell you something about the journey 11 October 2016. My husband wanted to, to ask the teachers uh, for the way for a playground for our children, for the girl. I didn't, he don't answer him. He just came over to us nearby the car. It's far away from the uh, place where they have sport lessons and he came over and give a hit on my husband my husband go to the ground and the boxer is was it was aggressive he don't stop it he just wanted to continue the fight and that's the, that was the point where I came over and just told the boxer he have to finish it he have to stop it and that was the moment where I'm thinking if it's if he hits me also and as a mother I just make me the question why a teacher don't stay by the class by the te uh, by the children's they was young they was in the third class maybe and why he just came over for to hit my husband that's what the way why I, I have my questions. Weißt du noch, was passiert ist? Ja. Na, du musst es jetzt sagen oder nicht? Was hat der Mann gemacht? Na ja, lass es dann. Ja, well, we are tired of being the um, being the aim of the authorities who are lying just for their own sake you know to put up a um, a terror state with more laws and more things what they can use against us the people the guy was a fascist an Alsatian fascist you know and just next to it they had just before a village next to it just just one or two villages further up they had a big party on April the 20th celebrating Adolf Hitler's birthday with Swiss, Germans, Alsatian, neo-Nazis. And Mr. Attorney, why don't you do something about this, eh? Instead of you and your Freemason pals to terrorize us. Think about that, eh? I'm tired of it, yeah? Seeing me and my family suffer because of your terror.